What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my kitchen. Little Texas update, man. Yesterday I lost power. As of now, I woke up, we got power back. So uh, fingers crossed, we're through the worst of it. Hopefully it doesn't go out in the middle of this video. That would be terrible. But hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. Like dad always said, you give a man a hamburger, you feed him for a day. But you teach a man to hamburger, he lives forever. If you had to create a list of the worst foods you could possibly eat, it'd be hard not to put chili cheese fries way up there. Normally you're getting a burger, you're getting a big drink, so that's already a lot. But then you add deep fried French fries, melted cheese and chili on top, ooh, that's just asking to be on my 500 pound life. But today, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna change that. In today's video, we will be making anabolic chili cheese fries. All of the delicious and succulent flavor of fries covered in cheese and covered in chili without the feeling of wearing an inner tube around your waist after you eat them. If you've been wanting chili cheese fries, but you also wanna have a little bit of self-respect, then look no further than in this video because I'm telling you, it just might change your life. And if recipes like this sound amazing, a diet where you are able to eat the foods you love while still seeing results, make sure you check out my anabolic cookbook, link in description. It's got all my recipes in here, man, my playbook, my guide, step-by-step -step instructions, the macros. Basically, this is what I use every single day to stay lean, keep building muscle, and live in my best life, man. One where I'm not eating leaves all day. I don't want to eat leaves. You get it one time, you get every future recipe I have for free. So if you guys are ready to get another epic video underway, then as always, man, I'm here to do it for you. Let's do it! Yeah! Now the first thing we wanna do is get our fries going. We need frozen fries because we're gonna throw them in the air fryer. My favorite brand, Orida. Golden Crinkles, they're the most authentic and also have the best calories. So on a food scale, I'm just gonna weigh out 168 grams. Then all I'll do is toss them in the air fryer, spread them out a little bit. Then all we do is set the temperature to 400 degrees and we're gonna let them fry for about five to six minutes each side. Boom. And just like that, our fries are done. They are crispy. And I'm telling you, just as good as deep fried without all the extra calories. And now I'm gonna put a measuring cup on a food scale. I'm gonna show you how to make some stupid, simple, anabolic chili topping for this. We start with 65 grams of pinto beans. You just get these out of a can, make sure you drain them. Now we need 63 grams of a tomato sauce. I only had pizza sauce. All the grocery stores are closed because Texas is in like a state of emergency right now. So pizza sauce will work. It's lower calories actually, and it tastes amazing still. Let's measure out that that's 63. And then finally, on top of that, we need nine grams of a chili seasoning mix. So we're all gonna have roughly the same calories. Your grocery store should have something very similar. Just weigh out that nine right here on top. This is gonna come together quick, so make sure you're standing here. I wouldn't walk away from it. Preheat a skillet, medium heat. We have 112 grams of 96% lean ground beef. We wanna brown this. And once our ground beef is browned, take our chili mix, pour it right in here, reduce that heat a little bit, and stir everything together. And once you got it all stirred together, we're just gonna let it sit and simmer for a couple minutes. And then now all we'll do is take our chili, put it right on top of our fries. Now the last thing we need is a gooey cheese sauce. I start with 84 grams of unsweetened almond milk, pour it down in here. And once the unsweetened almond milk starts to smoke, I'm gonna toss in 84 grams of fat-free cheddar cheese. And I'm just gonna go in and whisk everything together. I'm gonna repeat this for a couple minutes until this sauce thickens up, our cheese is melted, and we are in business. And once our cheese sauce is done, all I wanna do is take it and pour it right over top of our chili cheese fries. Oh baby, look at that drizzle. And then once your cheese sauce is on there, if you have a little bit of chili that you were saving, you can kinda put a little bit on top. If like me, you're also a fan of visual representation. Mm -hmm. 
And boom, ladies and gentlemen, I present to you anabolic chili cheese fries. We started with air fried French fries, which are gonna cut way down on that fat, help lower those calories, but still give us that crispy, authentic French fry flavor. We got our easy, ready in a few minutes, homemade chili that we got right on here, kept it lean, kept it authentic. And then we also got our melted cheese sauce on here, adding even more protein without adding any fat. If this looks like something you could eat and diet on, smash that thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below for that algorithm. Do it for Texas, baby. And subscribe, cause you know we got a ton more videos coming just like this one. All right guys, we've been staring at it long enough. I think it's time to pull up a chair, strap on the old feed bag and try this thing together. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, man, it's time to go. But first, if you need a little pep in your step, help you get through those hard workouts, that cardio, you're not feeling motivated, you want extra pump, a little more vascularity, check out FinalBossFormance.com and get you some pre. Code RGF10 will save you 10%. This is Rocket Pop flavor. We also got Rainbow Supernova and be on the anabolic lookout for these anabars, baby. Hoping to have these available on the site early to mid-March. So these are gonna go quick, man. We we're, we're think we're gonna sell out. So mark your calendars. I'll let you guys know when they're up. Follow me on social media. All right, let's get down to business, baby. We got fries, we got chili. Oh my goodness. A little bit of everything, man. I don't know about to you, but to me, that looks like the perfect bite. Three, two, one, let go. Mm -hmm. This is one of those recipes that I don't care who you are. Unless you're a marine mammal, you're, you're gonna like this. And I, I would assume a marine mammal would like this. Mm. I mean, the fries, obviously incredible. That little hack we did with the cheese to melt it liquefied a little bit, it's great. And then the homemade chili with that flavor, just that little, how easily that all came together. I mean, it's a winner. And this is really one of those foods that doesn't make you feel like you're dieting, which is half the battle, right? When you feel like something's arduous and tough and you're looking at a plate of chicken, rice, and broccoli and you're like, dear Lord, not again. That's what makes it tough. But when you look at something like this, this looks like fun to eat and it is fun to eat. You can make this for your children and they would never have any idea that this was Secret, ooh, secretly better for them, right? No clue, they think it would taste amazing. And the best part is we can eat this, not feel like crap afterwards, and stick to our goal, man. We're just making better choices. Now, M, this entire recipe, if you make it exactly how I did it, what you end up with for the whole thing is only 584 calories, 16 grams of fat, 60 grams of protein, 50 grams of carbs, six grams of fiber. 60 grams of protein. We kept that fat under 16, I bet. Although I haven't done it, because I don't eat in and out I don't really go places and eat chili cheese fries, but if you look those up, those are easily double the calories, way more fat, less protein, more carbs. You get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? This is definitely one of those recipes I need you to make. I need you to tag me on Instagram when you make it and let me know what you think. Cause this is, this is really one that like, I don't think anybody out there watching minus the marine animals that wouldn't like this. I mean, I don't know how, I don't know how. And we're down to the final bite. Let's go. Mm. This one is truly a delicacy, a 10 out of 10. Nothing about this one even has the slightest taste of being healthy, man. Nothing about it, but I mean, I mean, it is. We got higher protein, we're watching those calories, we're getting that protein up, we're being more thermogenic, so as long as you're uh, hitting your calorie goal in that protein bowl, you can't fail here. And if you got the RJF cookbook, it has been updated, go grab your updated copy, man. This recipe's in here, along with every other recipe that I drop on this channel, man. We're well over 150 pages now, loaded with recipes, man. Changing the way that people think about dieting. The amount of people that message me, tag me, and show me their results of what they've seen just following this, um, it's a motivator, man. So if you got some results, share them down below in the comments. Let the people know this ain't just some fad. If you follow it, you get out of your own head, you quit listening to the brainwashing that the media and these fitness gurus have told you, and you just do this and try it for a week, you're gonna see something positive happen, man. And the best tool you can have in your kit is that RJF cookbook right on your phone. Link in description. Appreciate you guys, as always, for checking out the channel. Hopefully things return to normal here in Texas soon, because as of right now, all the stores are closed, so I can't go buy any new ingredients. I can't restock some of my favorites right now. I've literally been living off of chocolate chip waffles every single day, but hey, it's not really a bad life, man, you know? Chocolate chip waffles, I mean, hey, I can think of worse things to be subsisting on at these times. <laughs> Smash thumbs up button for me, comment anything down below. Helps with the algorithm a ton. It really does, man. When you, the, I notice a correlation. The more comments a video gets, the more views it gets. It's really that simple. So if you guys just help me out that way with whatever, you don't gotta think of something witty unless you're trying to get upvoted. You just put something down there, it's gonna help. Even if you put butt, two T's, but don't.
Funk, WAP, put something down there. I don't care, man, it helps. Subscribe, if you are not subscribed, we got tons of great videos coming. Anna bars coming very soon. If you guys knew how many of these I have eaten since I've had them in my house, it would probably shock you. It'd probably shock you, but they're that good. Real talk. Appreciate you guys, as always, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I will see and every one of you at the next video. See you guys. All right, best thing about chili, it leaves a little residue that is ripe for the tasting. Mm -hmm.